We live in a world of mystery. There are secrets everywhere we look. Sometimes they thrill us, sometimes they terrify us. But one thing is for certain, we long to know the answers to them. Luckily, discoveries are made every day, and they often tell us more about ourselves, our history, our ideologies, and our past. But sometimes, the discoveries only drive us deeper into a state of bewilderment. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three unusual and extraordinary discoveries. Temple to Thor and Odin has been unearthed in Norway. The Viking Age has always been shrouded in intrigue and mystery. History has told legends about them, their culture, their religion, their brutality. We've all heard of their many conquests and their hedonistic persuasions. Perhaps these legends are true, perhaps almost all of them are false, but there is no denying the importance of Nordic mythology and religion in Viking culture. In Western Norway, archaeologists have found a site of a Viking-era settlement dating to 1,200 years ago. Archaeologists have found evidence of longhouses that the Vikings lived in. Perhaps they cooked their food and raised their families in these longhouses. Maybe they taught their children how to fight and survive. The houses themselves are a noteworthy discovery. However, the most astonishing discovery made in the area was that of a pagan temple. By analyzing post hole placement and the arrangement of other artifacts, the archaeological team determined that this particular longhouse was made for the express purpose of worship. Soren Dinov, a museum architect who helped lead the excavation, said, I know of no other Scandinavian buildings in which the house construction is as clear as it is here. Of course, this is a magnificent archaeological find in its own right, but this is more important than other findings. Temples and houses of worship are incredibly rare in Scandinavia, so experts see this as a key find for historians. But why are large Viking temples so rare? Before interaction with South European Christians in the 6th century, Viking religious ceremonies were much more modest. It wasn't the custom of Vikings to build large, vaulted temples for religious purposes. However, after seeing the large, intricate Christian churches of the time, some Viking groups followed suit and designed large worship houses of their own. Experts believe that this particular temple was built for the worship of Odin, Thor, Freya, and other gods of the Norse religion. Later excavations have uncovered cooking pits and animal bones, which experts believe were used to cook meat for the gods to consume, represented by figurines. We know that the Vikings prepared food for the gods, but other than that, what did worship entail? Dinov said that worshippers would have enjoyed a feast, symbolically eating with the gods. He said that Viking worship in the temple would have been a good time, filled with eating and drinking. It's likely that this temple was also a place for blood sacrifices and rituals during the summer and winter solstices. Finding this new temple is not only a major archaeological find, it's offered new insights into the Viking way of life. Even so, there are still questions. What kinds of sacrifices did they do in the temple? Why aren't there more of them? What did these rituals look like? The only way to find out is to look, dig, and research. And hopefully, one day, our questions about the mystical lives of the Vikings will be fully answered. New Cracks in the International Space Station Humans have always been intrigued by the cosmos. Its beauty, wonder, and majesty have captured human eyes and imagination for millennia. It's no wonder why. Space is the ultimate manifest destiny, an unknown frontier full of awe and mystery, practically begging to be explored. In a relatively short period of time, humans have pushed past the atmosphere, landed on the moon, and even placed a rover on Mars. However, sometimes we forget how unforgiving space can truly be. The International Space Station is a multinational spacecraft designed for the purpose of housing humans, conducting research, and performing science experiments. Though only the size of a large house, people have consistently lived on the International Space Station since 2000. Since the ISS was only supposed to last for 15 years, it has survived significantly past its projected expiration date. 
However, fissures or cracks have recently been discovered on the International Space Station's Zarya module. The Zarya module of the functional cargo block was the first module of the International Space Station to launch. Launching in 1998, it is the oldest piece of the ISS and is a Russian segment. Fortunately, the Zarya module is only used for storage, so these fissures aren't immediately threatening to any human life nor the rest of the ISS. However, Vladimir Solovyov, a Russian rocket engineer and specialist, has said that these fissures could begin to spread over time. These current fissures could spread across the rest of the Zarya module, eventually destroying it, rendering it completely useless within the next couple of years. And if that isn't bad enough, there is a deeper worry. If the Zarya module, the oldest part of the ISS, is beginning to show its age, it's likely that other parts of the ISS will start to do the same. If the cracks persist, the ISS may become uninhabitable, and the invaluable research taking place there may come to a halt. Of course, another ISS could be designed, built, and launched, but such a feat would require a massive international effort, not to mention billions of dollars. All we can really do now is hope that the International Space Station lasts as long as possible so that our burning space questions can continue being answered. The bones in Whale Valley are still a mystery. Our world has no shortage of strange and intriguing biological findings. Surely the first person to find a dinosaur fossil was equal parts thrilled and petrified. Even now, witnessing a strange or unusual fossil finding can cause the most modern educated head to spin. Whale Valley is one of the strangest and most mysterious fossil sites in the world. Located in the deserts of western Egypt, Whale Valley is a genuine graveyard littered with hundreds of fossils, some of which are entire skeletal structures. Under the careful watch of expert scientists, many of these skeletons have been fully exhumed and put together, each of them telling a fascinating story. Unbelievably well-preserved, these bones seem to represent a species frozen in time, Archaeoceti, or ancient whales with legs. As hard as it may be to imagine, these bones belong to some kind of ancient semi-aquatic mammal that most closely resembles a whale with legs. The deserted area of Whale Valley is an archaeological site filled with evidence of a species at a very specific time in their evolution, answering some questions while inspiring so many more. These remains seem to suggest that whales were once land animals that slowly morphed into oceanic animals, eventually evolving into the mammals we know of today. 40 million years ago, long before humans ever roamed the Earth, lived four-legged whales that travelled both in and out of water. They were large, long creatures with sharp teeth, suggesting a carnivorous diet, a far cry from the lumbering, docile whales that fill our oceans today. They roamed the land and the sea, experiencing the world like few creatures get to do. But there are still so many unanswered questions. What necessitated the change from semi-aquatic to fully aquatic? What did the life of an amphibious, four-legged whale look like? Why is Western Egypt, once a vast sea, now a seemingly endless desert? The only way to find out is to keep looking, learning and researching. We may never know all the details surrounding the skeletal structures preserved in Whale Valley. But, if it can help us understand our world even a little bit better, it will all be worth it. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.